It may look pretty, but it's not something you want on your land. So we moved here in 2016. So first year we saw a little bit of it, very little bit. Uh, all of this was just desert, um, just regular desert plants. Um, but every year it's gotten progressively worse. In Cave Creek, Stinknet now blankets properties and mountainsides. We've had to, you know, work at getting rid of it several times this year. Um, every time it's, it's been a lot of work. Just a couple weeks ago, we had this entire section behind me completely cleared. It's to the point where it's become a nuisance. It costs us a few thousand dollars every year to clean this off now. As you can see, when you look across the desert, it kind of fills in all those areas where other plants aren't. Um, so it doesn't really overtake as many of the other plants, but it'll just grow throughout every area that's available. Sean Gilliland is a firefighter, and he knows as summer approaches, the plants will dry out. Obviously, if you look out across the desert, it adds a lot of color, um, but they didn't realize how dangerous and how quickly it's going to dry out and become fire fuel. A thought homeowners here are terrified of. The fire danger from it drying out frightens us a lot. Yeah, it petrifies us. Uh, frankly, we keep our truck hooked up to the horse trailer uh, in big part because of that. We're worried something may catch fire here real quickly. We're going to have to grab the horses and go. Gilliland says clearing out the plants is something that needs to be done. Right now is a great time to get rid of it, especially when it's not dried out. Once it's dried, you start spreading the spores around. But when it's still green um, in its green state, it's a lot less likely to actually spread across your property and start throwing those spores into the air where they're going to carry.